the king. The king of kings. On your knees, dog. What is up, my ninjas? This is Co-Host 3000 here, and the other day I was lucky enough to receive a copy of the Lionsgate Special Edition of the 1986 film The Wraith, written and directed by Mike Marvin, and starring that cool cat who knows how to treat the ladies, Mr. Charlie Sheen. Also starring this film is the gorgeous, the most beautiful girl I had the biggest crush on, you know, back in the day. Miss Sherilyn Finn of Twin Peaks fame. And let me tell you, she is looking goddamn hot in this film. And guess what? She gets naked too. Yes! 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 But enough about that. Now prepare yourself for the Co-Host 3000's review of The Rape. Alright, now let's get into the plot. Let me break it down, break it down to you. Now, just go into this movie thinking about... Clint Eastwood's High Plains Drifter and The Crow. Now this here is a tale, of course, of revenge. 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 Now, when a ruthless gang of young road pirate punks who force innocent motorists into drag racing for their cars decide to kill a local boy and in the process rip a young couple's love apart, a mysterious vehicle appears, not of this world. Death has come to town in the form of a Dodge Turbo Interceptor, whose main purpose is to race the road pirates to their deaths and to reclaim the love they so violently took away. Vengeance has come to town, and it's only known as The Wraith. Did you like that? I hope you did. Man, it took like two hours to write that, and many Bothans died to bring that to you. Many Bothans died to bring us this information. Well, lucky enough for me, I managed to catch this again and record it on a blank VHS tape, and goddamn did I wear out that tape. Not only because of the races, but because Sherilyn Finn gets naked. Did I, did I mention that? <laughs> Thank God for this new special edition, because now I can see those nude scenes without those goddamn tracking lines all over the place. Now, as much as I love this film, I'll admit to you, it's not a perfect film. Uh, you know, the scenes where these road pirates are you know, collecting pink slips like it's their job. Where the hell are the, are the goddamn cops, huh? Sitting in a fucking row, waiting on the move. How the hell should I know who's going to St. Ives? I mean, come on. A cop will bother me when I'm peeing on an old person, but yet, when innocent people are getting their pink slips taken away from their cars, there are no cops to be found. I just don't get it. Now, let's get on a positive tip. And no, not that kind of tip. Randy Quaid plays Sher Sheriff Loomis. What do you want? Mr. Quay. He's trying to figure out what the hell is going on and why are these, you know, crazy ass punks getting killed one by one. And then of course you have two of my favorite characters in this film, Skank and Gutter Boy. Oh, Skank. That's Skank right there. <laughs> Skank dead. I mean, these guys remind me of my friends back in the day. You know, when we used to sniff WD-40 to get the ultimate high, you know, and just kicking back, drinking some coolant and antifreeze. And, I mean, that's just how we rolled back then, all right? As far as this DVD goes, it looks great. You know, it has audio commentary. It has a trailer, yada, yada, yada. It really doesn't need to be on Blu-ray because it just it wasn't shot to be on Blu-ray, all right? So, you know, hopefully you'll dig it. If not, don't tell me about it. I don't give a shit. All I know is it's time to end this. Now that's it. I'm done. I'm going to jump in my co-host mobile. I'm going to get my road rage on. And I'm going to tear up them roads. I mean, I'm going to put on my kick-ass music. And I, I'm just going to be like a bat out of hell. You watch me. You watch me. What, you want to race? You want to do this? Let's do this. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah.